Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us here over at Etero, where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we are looking at the S&P 500, and this has been a fairly bullish day for the stock market, for the, especially the Nasdaq. But we're looking at this wave of 100, and as you can see, we are trading at the 3,943 at this current stage. It looks like we are going to head towards 4,000. We may see a pullback uh, before we rallied, but most of those pullbacks towards the 20 exponential at roughly at uh, 3,900, they will most likely be bought into, uh, and then we'll head towards 4,000. Technical indicators, they are all fairly bullish except for the stochastic that is still underneath the signal line and has not crossed the signal line yet the macd is bullish the cci is bullish and also the rsi is bullish and at this current stage 4000 looks like it's going to be our target if we break below the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 50 down here at the 3865 and then all the way down to the bottom here at 3772 so let's look at the dow jones so the Dow Jones has rallied today after two consecutive days of basically falling towards a 20 exponential, but today we rallied. So uh, 32,772 is where we basically landed today. Technical indicators, they are, well, they're more bearish for the Dow Jones than the, than the S&P 500. The MACD is still bullish, the, CCI, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and also the RSI is bull, uh, flat at this point. So we could see this fall towards the 20, around uh, 32,240, before going back towards uh, 33,000, or probably 33,500, which is going to be the, um, the next target here. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we'll head towards the 50, down here at 31,434, and then the very lows here are the bottom of the bullish band at 30,644. But that is going to be stretching it quite a bit. But however, we were way outside of the bullish band here. We have seen moves like that before where we were outside here. We fell all the way to the bottom here, also all the way to the bottom and all the way to the bottom. So historically, we have seen this uh, really tanked after being way overstretched here in the bullish band. But at this current stage, we are trading above the 20 exponential. We haven't tested it really yet. And um, until we do, we'll see whether or not we bounce from here. A break below from here, that could open the door to these very lows. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has yet again uh, tried to test uh, 50 moving average. This completely turned around the, from, um, from uh, Friday. Friday looked really weak in this candlestick, but today we can absolutely turn around. So if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we're going to head towards 40,000, probably 50,000 in the next uh, month or two. Technical indicators, they are all turning around here, um, except for the stochastic. MACD is still underneath zero, so we're still in this bearish trend here, but it has crossed the signal line and now is heading towards uh, zero. So that is a bullish indication. The CCI is also uh, bullish at this point. The RSI is also bullish. So it's just a matter of time before the stochastic turns around here and, and rallies. Breakdowns from, uh, from here will, at this current stage, if we need to take out these... Um, these previous lows are roughly 12,815 before before this can fall towards the bottom of the bullish band, roughly 12,400. Rallies above the 50 moving average, that will basically send this to these previous highs. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX, we have fell on Thursday and Friday, and then today we rallied yet again. Technical indicators, they are fairly bullish, uh, bearish at this, this current stage. The stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and also the RSI is flat. MACD is still bullish, but we are rounding off here, and it looks like we are going to uh, cross the signal line. So also here, we were way outside at the bullish band and also very outstretched here. And uh, usually that means that we'll fall towards the 
middle of the Bollinger Band, roughly 14,300, or even the very lows of the Bollinger Band before going higher. We can see we were outside here and fell, outside here and fell, and so on. So historically, it would not be strange if we fell uh, before going significantly higher. However, we will test, most likely test the 20 exponential at 14,369. Um, in the next uh, few trading days and uh, then we'll basically see whether or not we bounce from here if we do then we'll probably head towards 15,000 so let's look at the UK 100 so we fell today all the way down towards the 50 moving average and then bounced quite significantly so technical indicators here are all looking very bearish so we have been falling for the last uh, five days so that should affect these technical gears quite significantly but this bounce from the 50 moving average that is fairly encouraging if we break below the 50 then we could head towards 6528 uh, however take out of this candlestick here that could open the door to the highs of the bollinger band at 6839 so, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ethereum. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.